everybody. Hope you all had a great weekend. Happy Monday. I'm Bobby Fye, going to be talking about some of my favorite plays from tonight's MLB slate. This is going to be a quick preview because no sheets here. I did run through it, and I actually have a smaller list of players, I, I would think, than most people do. So uh, to start off with, there's uh, there's five pitchers I'm sort of mixing and matching in, but the majority are going to be Wheeler, Cole, and then I think Marco Gonzalez will be the other one for me. I will bite on the 5.3K price tag, and that is something I'm going to do. I don't mind if you wanted to get, wanted to get weird and, and play Zach Granke against an awful Arizona team. Uh, these don't feel like upside plays, but by any means, if you play like a Granke and Marco kind of combination, but it does allow you to fit everything in. And there are some expensive bats that I like that I want to get to. So I think it's an interesting route to go. I think McKenzie, you could argue for a Houston stack against him, or you could argue for his upside against Houston. who's still pretty righty heavy. And uh, McKenzie's probably been a little bit better as a higher ceiling than most people probably realize. Berrios uh, looked strong in his last outing. Still has it's still a little low on the Ks this year, but uh, the matchup's fine. And I am definitely open to uh, using a little bit of Berrios against a righty dominant St. Louis lineup. So those are my main pitchers. Uh, my main stacks are going to be the Yankees, then the Dodgers, then Minnesota in that order. I don't mind mixing in Houston or Philly, but I personally, Houston or Philly mini, I should say, against Anderson. It would be more like Hoskins and Castellanos, maybe Real Muto, a three man stack or something like that. But mostly it's going to be the Yankees, Dodgers, Minnesota for me. I don't think these are like groundbreaking things, but I think the Yankees will be a little bit lower owned because it's hard to fit the prices in. I think people will prefer the Dodgers. Now we still have some weather issues for the Dodgers. So it's going to be tough to see that as far as that goes. I think the Yankees will be a lot more popular on FanDuel where they're easier to get in. Um, on DraftKings, I do think that they are going to be uh, lower owned in some spots. I don't think Rizzo is going to be crazy. I'll have some ownership. I don't think Aaron Hicks is going to have any ownership at the bottom of the order. Trevino won't have much ownership even as a 2.8K catcher. I don't think anyone's playing Glaber on DraftKings. So that's just the guys I'd be including. And then you've got the LeMayhew Donaldson, both seemingly overpriced. And I know Jordan Lyles was good against them, but you know my rule. If you guys are good against somebody one time, it uh, doesn't mean that you should expect the same thing the next time out. And I think that this is, uh, this is a spot where I expect uh, things to go a little worse for Lyles than who was just really, really good against the Yankees the last time out and got crushed by them the first time. I expect us to see more, something more like the first outing. So those are my main plays. Um, some one-offs that are possibly included in some of those stacks, but guys I like. Um, Buxton, Santana is a cheap value. Nolan Gorman, assuming that he bats second today for St. Louis against Barrios, if you're not using Barrios, is a good value. Chad Pinder, if you're not using Marco Gonzalez at 2K, flat is a good value on DK. On FanDuel, the pricing is a little more flexible, and you can kind of get everybody in that you want to. Um, so you're going to see popularity on the Yankees and Dodgers even more so over there, which is why I, the, the way I'm stacking with my Dodgers over on, uh, on, uh, FanDuel will be a little bit more the bottom of the order. The guys I don't expect to be looked at quite as much. I did post, um, all my bets of the day. My, it's only a couple bets today because the NBA, and then we switch over to baseball and props starting next week. Um, but the uh, I did put my my early builds, which have been pretty pretty hot, um, except with the exception of a few days the last few days last week, uh, went through you know a couple weeks stretch where we were we were really getting close on everything, and uh, as well as my ownership is all done on SaberSim. I want to remind you guys to check out. I think our best package offering is our SaberSim offering. Uh, you can get all the SaberSim stuff for just a tiny bit more than SaberSim charges themselves, and you get all of my sheets, my my info sheets as projections aggregate projections throughout the industry, as well as uh, uh, roadies, you know, top stacks and top pitchers and all that stuff. Anyway, I think it's a really great, great tool to have. I'm happy to be we partnered with SaberSim. And uh, yeah, let's make some money today, guys. Sorry if I'm sounding a little under the weather. It's, uh, it hasn't been, it hasn't been the, 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 since, since the spring has not been the cleanest for me uh, health wise, but uh, fighting through it and hopefully getting the week off to a good start tonight. So good luck, everybody. And we'll see you at the top of the leaderboards.